James chapter 2 verses 19 and 20 Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Good morning, sunshines! We are great, and we're also extraordinary and excellent in Christ Jesus. What is possession? Having direct or complete control over the thoughts and or actions of a person. Possessed. Unclean spirit. Let's see in scripture what Jesus has to say about it. Luke chapter 11 Verses 23 through 26, it is written, He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. He saith, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he and take to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Same thing happened to Judas when Satan entered in when he betrayed Jesus. Mark chapter 1 verses 23 through 26 it is written and there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out saying let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee, who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. Mark chapter 5 verses 15 through 19. It is written, And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil, and also concerning the swine. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coast. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord had done for thee, and ha had compassion on thee. Give your life to King Jesus, you need the power of the Holy Ghost to dwell in you, to cast out devils, and to always pray. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It is a promise to all those that call on the name of the Lord. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. All you need is Jesus, good health, and peace. I will look for him. You have a blessed day.